I want to turn this drawer into my stamping plate storage. I just feel like I think I'll like that better. And because it's a thicker drawer, or taller drawer, for future, it'll just work better than the thinner drawer that it's in right now. Like if you guys remember, they're just over here. So I'm gonna move them. And my friendly neighbor, shout out to you girl, gave me a great idea. Now I had these things. She showed me a picture of the same type of things. Um, but yeah, I had these that I wasn't really using them. I did have them for these books at one point. They do work good for them as well, which I did have some decals and stuff in, which that works pretty good too. But remember guys, I want them out of the books. So I'm just gonna try to organize my plates in here for now. So, and then I'm going to also go on Sheen later. I'm gonna, I need to do a Sheen run anyways. Um, and I, they have drawer dividers, so I'm going to get a drawer divider for this. I looked on Ali, or sorry, not Ali. Why did I say Ali? I looked on Amazon, and they want like $40 for four of them, and I can get four for 20 on Sheen. That's fine. I'll wait. No problem. Sorry, guys. I just got to get a stool for my butt. It's just too cold. Okay. So I think, and I also want, I have some decals in smaller individual binders that I also want to utilize half of this drawer for. So half will be stamping plates, half will be some decals. So ideally, I'm going to break it down and probably back. Yeah, I don't know, something like that. So I'm going to try this and see how I like it. If this works for me. So I, I do have two of these. And I'm going to see if I feel like I'm liking it. Then I can order more. That's kind of why I wanted to do this. Because I do want to do a sheen run tonight. And I can throw that in there for them. So here guys. I'm literally on the floor. So just come with me. I don't know. I did kind of have them labeled on these, but I don't think that that's going to really function. I think I'm going to have to probably do something a little bit better, but I am liking the concept. So for now, these are patterns. I'll keep them in there for now because they are kind of organized that way. And then flowers. This is actually working very well. And then I just have like, it says mixed. Which I think one day I'll go through guys and probably give these all a proper organize one of these days. I don't think I'm going to be do that right now. I want to do a few other things. So I have, here we are. So we do have animal plates. So these work, these little guys. I just wonder. Hmm. Guys, I'm going to do something. I know you guys are probably going to be like, oh, I'm no. Probably. But I want to test something out. Guys, please, if you're doing it with an exacto knife, be careful. So I put that there. It's protecting my leg. Um, you sure? I should probably do it at my desk, but I'm just... What's that saying? Do what I say, not what I do. Alright guys, so 
I have all of these. That is all designer foils. And then I have all of my little books. So all these are just... I don't know, more Pacifics, I should say, like Halloween, Christmas, Disney, a couple blanks, Valentine's Day. So they were more geared towards like, I don't know, holidays and those type of things. So I also want to keep them in here. Now I feel... Okay. So I think that they'll be fine just in the back. Like I said, I'll kind of know what they are when the time comes. Like if I know if I need a Pacific holiday or Pacific something, they'll be back there. And the designer foils are fine back there as well. And then I'll just keep my extra four books. Like I said, I still have to do, like I'm going to have to do one for Easter. And I want to do one for, well, Saint, not maybe not St. Patrick's Day this year, but... yeah and then they will go like that back there which I think that looks so nice and neat and then I can just kind of yeah, I could always maybe put a tab system on that or something. so yeah and then like I said I'm going to get some drawer dividers to put in there because I think I would like that better and then I think I'm going to go two more so Hopefully that works still. Okay, perfect. Look, so that will give me the room that I need for to go two and two. I'm gonna get two more of these guys. So that will definitely that'll be on my sheen list. You'll have to go in and order them and put that in our cart. All right, guys, that's awesome. Thank you so much for coming along with me, and thank you so much to my neighbor. Girl, you know who you are. I appreciate you reaching All right, out, guys. So I'm on the sheen website. I just want to try to find those little things. Those ones are alright too, but that's not what I want. Oh, right here. Five bucks. Well, that's rude. Is that the same one that I have? That's cute, but yeah, I wanted to order these. Yummy. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today we have like a vlog style video. We are going to do just like a hodgepodge of things. I do have a few like, I don't really want to say clip because it's more like segment, <laughs> I guess you would say, um, that I'm going to throw in here somewhere because I don't even think I did an intro, let alone an outro to it. Which is crazy. I guess I just filmed something. You know what I mean? Um, no, what that was is I actually switched around a couple drawers. So I switched my my restock drawer and I put it over here. It used to be by my desk, but now I have a um, my stamping plates. So I wanted to have it more closer to me and kind of have like a separate drawer. Now I bought these things. I just did a haul from Sheen. So I bought these separators, which really is exactly what it is. Right. So it is a drawer separator. So 
so I'm going to put one in my stamping plate drawer so I can use the back of it for just some more seasonal decals that I have. So some stuff either from or for like Christmas or like Valentine's Day that I'm just not going to be using for right away. I kind of want to have them in my little books um, in the back of that. So it's still easy to grab if I need it, but it kind of just gives it its own little separation. So I, like I said, I got these from Sheen. Uh, I did check around for different prices and stuff. These were $5 each. Like I said, I seen them, well, I guess I didn't like I said you guys, but I seen them at my local dollar store. They were $4 and they were the uh, bamboo ones. I actually like that I got the clear for me. Um, most of my stuff in my studio is like clear acrylic. So for a dollar difference, it's not bad. Um, I found Amazon overall was just more expensive. And so far, uh, there's two more. I got four in total. I already put one in the stamping drawer. I'll show you guys in a minute. So far they all came, none of them came broken. I have to check those other two, which I will do. But I got a couple things in from, my desk is so messy, it's full of decals. So I just did a sheen haul, so. I got a couple things in from Amazon. So I thought, oops. I thought that we could open them together and chit chat it's been a little bit i took my well i'm not gonna lie guys today is april 2nd it's saturday so i didn't take a full week off um but i'm fresh i'm ready to get back i had a great birthday i feel so blessed thank you so much to all my friends and family who are just around to support me and give me all the love i truly truly love it thank you guys all so much my YouTube family, you guys give me so many birthday wishes and it's just, it's such a blessing. Thank you guys. So, I feel blessed. I have this bag here of Sheen. Ugh. Sorry guys, I'm still trying to do I didn't take the addresses off, so I'm just trying to like not show that. Um, yeah, so it's nice to be back. I feel like... Was that just like the worst angle ever probably like all up in my business sorry i needed to i was touching stuff and i have an itch um yeah it's like i'm just I'm ready to be back not being in the studio i don't know i miss it i have so much to do don't get me wrong i had to do i had some stuff i was supposed to do in the week like i have deadlines for stuff so I knew like even like having to say I'm taking my birthday week off, I know I still had like two projects that I ha absolutely had to do, um, which I don't know, I think this will probably go out after, so they might already be out, but you know. So, but I still took a lot of time off, I feel. Like four days is a long time. When you've been going like crazy like ham for like five months straight since I started my channel I've been just going going so it was nice it was much very much needed just to relax and sleep in and force myself not to be in the studio I really tried not to be in the studio so but I put some stuff away a little while ago and we have to actually put this away today so I want to show you guys how I organize these after I've potted them so I ran out of pots so I finally got some new pots in. I just got these from well, Amazon, as you guys seen. Um, Amazon used to have like a good deal of 20 for like 100, like 20 bucks for 100. I think I got that once or twice so that I can't ever find that deal again. These are, I think 14.99 for 40 of them. So, and then these other two things that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, one is more for planner stuff. Um, and then the other one has absolutely nothing to do with nails. So I apologize if you don't want to see that. Um, I don't know, skip ahead three minutes. That won't be long. But, oh, I want to see how it is and what it looks like. So I'm just going to open it here with you guys. So this is for my fridge. I bought kind of something similar to this. I got it at, I don't want to touch my face. 
I got it at like my local dollar store, Dollarama, and I think it's great for put on the wall. I it was not supposed to be on the fridge, but I actually bought magnet tape and I put like a whole whack around it, like the whole border. And it just fell down like three times. And then after this, I'm like, again, last night, it literally woke me from my sleep because it fell. And I was like, there was a reason I bought a new one. So I got one actually for my fridge. And all it is, it's, it's like a little thing to write on. I just bought this one because I thought it would match my decor a little bit better. Okay, so it comes with two of those little pens and it's just a little menu board. Ooh, those glares. So what I've been trying to do, because I find working so much, I kind of like don't find myself in the kitchen as much. And I don't know, I love to eat healthy. I love to eat a good meal. So when I'm not cooking, usually the resort is something fast, which is just usually not that good, right? So especially now after like my birthday, I had cake and stuff. So I gotta get back on track. So I really wanted just to kind of help with more meal plans. So I, I'm the type of person when I cook, I cook enough for like a next day or so because I'm not trying to cook back to back. I love cooking, but I don't want to be in a kitchen like all day and I have other stuff to do. So I thought this would be good and I was using it for a couple weeks with the other one and it seemed to, like it was actually working really, really great. I stuck to what I had in my fridge, used up a lot of stuff, a lot more or less waste. So I really, really like that. So this actually is a magnet. The whole thing is a magnet so it won't fall off my fridge. So I got that from Amazon. Like I said, it's not nail related, but I might as well show you guys anyway. Oh, and it came with this actually. Stickers for literally every occasion. So hold on, it didn't come with that. That's a part of my order. What is this? Oh. Well, that was weird. I ordered, okay, I ordered three things, four things yesterday, technically. Three was all in one order, which was the fridge magnet, and I got two planner sticker packs. And then I forgot at like just before midnight. That I needed pots so I went and ordered pots so luckily they came today next day shipping right so they just put those two th three things that I ordered two in one bag and then this in another so that confused me so these are some planner stickers and it says six months worth I find with a happy planner I love that you can um ow. you can put it to whatever day like of the week that you want but if I don't could because my happy planner for instance it is the one, like it doesn't have the months on the tab, so I can customize it to however I want those um, dividers. So I don't want to use that back page, which is usually the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So for me to start a whole new one, it literally like it messes it up a little bit. So I was thinking I wanted just to get it where I can just white out the Monday, Tuesday and then I can write Monday, Tuesday. So I really was looking for stickers and that's a lot harder than you think to find. So these ones I think were like your basics and that's all I need. Like I don't need nothing too, too crazy, but I actually find like planning my days, writing my stuff down. It makes me so much more productive. It is just like, I don't know, just to see it there, this, 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 I get so much more done writing it down than keeping it in my brain and then thinking, okay, this, 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 I have to do this, 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 this. And then you get, I, don't, I feel like I get overwhelmed. Like, I don't know. I find even just doing this channel sometimes is it gets overwhelming it's a lot lot to do right writing it down helps at least me and my anxiety because i'm a spaz case so this one's like important priority asap deadlines and i think i don't know guys i'll link them though in this video because i know there is people that also have a channel or just like everyday life that like to plan right so yes, like this, like this is what I liked about it. It's literally like, okay, appointments, meetings, errands, day off, payday. I don't like those days. And you get quite a bit. Laundry, cleaning, groceries. So it's like stuff that we do every day, right? Workout, meal prep, doctors, like. To do, okay, so here's what I think I needed. 
Okay, you have your number weather. Okay, wow, at the very back. So it says six months. So this is what I needed. I was like searching for these, the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. So I can just put it over and then it does have the days to 31 here as well. So they're fine for me. Like I don't overly go crazy of color, but I think these are pretty standard colors that I've been seeing. Like I got these two. I'm so sorry, excuse me. I got these. I'll show you the Amazon one in a second. This other Amazon one that I got. And I think I swear I got it first because it came with pens or something. Guys, you guys know me. So I went into Michael's and like you said, I right now use a Happy Planner and I actually placed an order with Happy Planner. Oh, they suck. They're in the States. So the shipping is silly. And you guys know me in shipping. Like I hate paying shipping. I'd rather spend 100, 200 bucks. Not maybe not 200, but like 100 and get free shipping than no free shipping. But it is what it is i wanted it i think it'll make me and my business more efficient so i got it anyways so i'll have a happy planner haul let me know like do you guys want to see me do that in a haul like i'll probably do a vlog like this though so you guys can kind of know i have a few things so anyways so i don't know to me i think on the website you can get like some good deals i find michael's never have really has deals so far that i've kind of been looking only the last month though um, for their stickers for Happy Planner and just doing um, the Happy Planner, but I find that there's like their stickers and stuff are very specific to Whatever it's for right so I didn't want something like that So I was looking at these which they were half the price like ten dollars instead of 21 which I can do 10 21 is still like eh. So the recollections Like I like their stuff. That was cute. I had the same type of things To do's those little boxes and stuff and I think that's what I'll use more so these were I thought were really cute and they're only ten dollars and then again this one has like the day of the week and then numbers so what I was kind of looking at Amazon but I bought them ones from Amazon and then I ran there last night just to check it and then I found these so whatever I think I'm good for a while okay back to this and then I think we will put away Oh, I want to show you guys how I really put away my other things, like all these, so you kind of get a sneak peek of like some of my collection. So fine liner color pens. I swear this is the only reason I bought. Them. So these came free. Okay, with it I should say. So I think you get a half gloss, half you can write on. Yeah, so like these, I literally bought these same ones from AliExpress for a couple dollars. And I think this whole thing cost me like 17, 18 bucks. But like I said, I think I really just wanted the pens. I'm not gonna lie. I could have probably just bought the pens for cheaper, but I was like, why not throw some stickers in there? Yeah, like they're not that crazy guys. They're just like little make it happen, dream on, you can do it. Just like little motivational things. And then like I said, these ones are more of the mat that you can write on. So again, just boxes, little headers, stuff like that. So they'll come in handy. But that's really what I wanted with that. Alright, so that was that. <laughs> like a mini little Amazon haul of mixed stuff. Okay, why not? So I'm going to take you over and we're going to go over to this drawer over here, the system that holds all of my rhinestones and charms. And yes, I did do a video on these and how I potted them. It'll just be like an ASMR video or something. And then I just want to show you guys kind of how I store them and the little bit of organizing that I do with them. Okay guys, so we're over here at my tall Alex drawer. So this is how I store all of my pretty much everything. Rhinestones, charms, beads, um, any little metal, really anything like that. Femos. So I just hauled these couple things here. Because I love these little baskets for this reason. Like this is my put away basket. So when I'm done doing stuff, I can just put back. This is just from an actual video that I did. 
of putting them away so I just have to actually put them away I potted them now they have to go away so this really right here is all of like my Fimos and little like like plant things and whatever you call them like they're not card are they good cardboard they're kind of like not even not cardboard but you know what I mean so these I was thinking I can just set them in there like that I don't know if that's gonna fit that would be great if that did though let's see it actually does so that's perfect so these can all just store there so any little fruit slices I have some more here cards you know what I mean that's what I think they're, I think they're like clay or something these things females so metals what I do is I actually label everything that's in it right here to the best of my ability and then this is the big one. So this is has designer charms and shaped flatbacks. So for the most part, there is no crazy rhyme or reason. But so this is like clusters. Again, I mark all of my sides. So now I just gotta go through and see what clusters I have. Like that's a cluster. I think a lot of these are clusters actually. Nope, okay, bad idea. Yeah, I classify that as a cluster. It's not really a cluster, so I don't... Nope. I knew there was one more of them. No, it's not really a cluster either. Okay, like this is a cluster because it has a cluster of things. That's what I classify clusters of. Okay, so now, for instance, what are these guys? Those are more like plasticky little things. Those are designer. So here we have like bows and hearts. I kind of feel these can go in there. There, that might be a bit better for you guys. See what I'm doing? Okay, so these are gold and silver. I know I have a gold and silver. Um, okay. Those I find are more like vintage. So I think those little like tabs, they can go in here. So, flowers and bows. That's all I have for that. Hmm. I'm going to have to add some mix to that because I feel like I don't have enough room to have things so individual. But... So, this is just silver. Do we have anything just silver? Just silver. Just silver. Mix silver and gold. So we have vintage and silver and gold mix. Oh, 
That's my vintage. There. I don't know. Is that? Let me see these guys for a second. No, that's not. Okay. And here. That one is just gold. Now I'm starting to feel like I messed up with the bow situation. I feel like I'm going to take it out. I thought I wrote just bows and flowers. There must have been a reason. So this one. Gold and silver mix. Oops, they can go in there. That's animal. So actually, look. That did actually have a place. So I didn't even realize it had a place. Gold and silver. Gold and silver. Clusters. Okay, so I need I feel like that might just go into mixed clusters. Yeah. So I guess that's just gonna go into this mixed pile because Oh no, actually those go in the other one. So these containers are from Michaels, and then I have this one thing down here, which is designer too, and it's fine like that. So those containers are from Michaels, the pots I just get from really like Amazon. Yeah, and you can go five high, and that's about it. Two back, five high. It's still, you do have kind of wasted space. But I don't know, I really like storing them in that method, so it just works for me. And then here, you can only go too high here, because they'll fall at the back. Yeah guys, and that's just how I store all of my crystals and rhinestones. Day of working, it's always a mess. Messy, messy. Hey guys, as I have you here, I just kind of want to show you what I did with the snapping plates so i have these are just like they're actually like makeup dividers and one of my amazing subscribers i'm gonna say it again i know i've said it a thousand times now but she gave me this idea and she's just awesome thank you so so much so i just have my snapping plates and i use these as dividers and then that is the divider for the drawer for my books back there so it doesn't move it has a sticky tape so I love that it kind of separates it. I do have a few more that a few other drawers that I kind of want to separate. I still have to go in and categorize them in that. I haven't done that yet. Now I don't know if these are really working for me. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet or that's, you know, but that will come. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how I have that drawer for now. Like I said I don't have a lot of plates, but in time it'll fill up. Yeah, so I really, really rather that system than the books. And I just used the book inserts that I had. And I just cut them out, which you guys will see at some point. I'll figure out how I'm going to put that together. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright guys, so that is it for today. I know it wasn't that that crazy, but I did have a lot to do in the studio. But kind of like, not really vlog-ish. <laughs> a few put away stuff in that, but I did definitely want to add this and how I put away my... Uh, rhinestones and how I organize them and again guys you'll see how I did my stamping it's gonna like I'm gonna combine the two videos into one so if you notice that I'm in different clothes parts pieces of way through then that is probably what happened but I definitely want to show you guys that as well so I'll just 
I don't know, we'll hodgepodge it together and we'll figure it out. Thank you guys so, so much for coming out and spending some time with me today. I truly, truly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much again for all the birthday wishes. I truly feel so blessed to have you guys in my life and just so grateful. So thank you so, so much. If you haven't, make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Follow me on all my social media and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. Maybe share it to a friend and you never know. Maybe some helpful tips will help them out. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Bye.